Hi, this is Steven and this is video 5 of the Snowman tutorial series. Uh, in this video I wanted to continue with the scene. Uh, as you can see here I've added a few things and I wanted to show you what I did and some techniques you might use. Uh, first of all I added uh, some things to the snowman. I created a few pieces of coal and I actually took that coal from the snowball itself. Uh, so and I did that by uh, you know duplicating this snowball out out of the head a command D and then pulling that out and then kind of deleting parts of it but if you notice it's still parented so I have to go into the uh, into the outliner and middle mouse drag that out so it's no longer parented then I created a, a new material here and I just created a Lambert and uh, here I named it coal material I made it black uh, you could do the same things for the sticks but I haven't but uh, so that's how I created kind of the coal and then I took that object and then I you know I scaled it and I, one I made small and smashed it so the idea is you know, once you create something feel free to use that it might save some time instead of starting from scratch with a, you know if you want a boulder in the scene I, I took one of the snowballs uh, with the arm I did the same thing and uh, put a few dead sticks in the ground you know and then these can still be scaled and made to look different enough so it just might create a little bit of interest in your scene uh, the the trees are uh, were created from duplicate special. I created a cylinder, I squished it, and I pulled the center up. And it looks like I have soft select on, so I'm going to jump in here, turn that off, and uh, I pulled up the center some. And then I went around the edges and selected every other ring here. Probably easiest done from the top view. I uh, pulled those up some. So you get the idea. A lot of you would know how what to do from here. You go to the duplicate special, and uh, you, first you want to find out how far you need to displace that vertically. We'll say it's 0.3, and test that. That's not enough. So undo, maybe 0.7 so a lot of back and forth um, let's try one that's close I'm gonna call 1.25 good enough and then we'll rotate it some arbitrary number 25 degrees every time and then I want the X and the Z to scale in 0.8 but not the Y and make you know, eight or ten copies. We'll see what eight copies do, and then you notice it's it's making a copy. It's rotating it. It's scaling it in. So you can make a tree shape pretty quickly. If that interests you, uh, you can go ahead and, and do that. Um, but that's all I wanted to show you in this video. How you might start to think about. Uh, uh, decorating your scene and then start thinking of compositions uh, good shots that you can create uh, and you don't want to make it too chaotic like I, I've grouped these trees but you know I don't want where the tree and the uh, snowman are getting lost in each other kind of maybe group the trees together to one side that way you, you you keep a good emphasis on your snowman. 
Uh, if you want to, you can duplicate the snowman and uh, or duplicate special the snowman. You could, you know, have a little family of snowmen uh, and then repose these if you like. Uh, but it's up to you. Uh, come up with something that, creative that, that you like and uh, in the next video we're going to begin to do some basic lighting and some texturing, I'm sorry, and rendering and we'll be done with this week. Thanks for watching.